hey guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys everything that i've thrifted um it's kind of a lot i mean make a bold attempt to show you guys i've got two pairs of shoes and two bags on the floor i don't even know if this is everything but i've gathered everything i humanly possibly can that i've thrifted i'm 90 percent positive that this is everything, I think. I don't know. I could be it could not be everything, but I'm gonna show you a lot of stuff today. But here's kind of like the glimpse of everything. There's skirts in here, we've got jackets, we've got sweaters, we've got dresses and skirts and shoes and bags and stuff. So I'm gonna be showing you guys literally everything, giving you my two cents about thrifting, and we're just gonna chat and look at all the stuff that I've thrifted. So, let's get started. Okay, so first, I'm just going to kind of like go through the stack, I guess. but And then I'll do like shoes and bags last, I think. T-shirt. I got this one from Depop. But this one was Marla Catherine's. I've like also since, I'm going to like give you a little thing. Like I thrifted, I got this, I guess. And I got a pair of red Brandy Melville pants. Also from Marla on Depop. And I got rid of those. I thrifted a lot of things, I feel like, through my life. And I feel like I've gotten rid of a lot of it too. But this was one of them that I thrifted. It had like, it eventually I think got like weird black stains. But those are gone now mostly. But I feel like this is such a staple. It's from Topshop. But I loved it. And it was super cutie. Love it. Okay. This one I thrifted at um, a Goodwill. A Goodwill bins might I add. And it's a Shein. Just a Shein sweater. But I was like. I don't know. I'm. I try not to shop at Shein because it's so cheap, and I like know that it's not good and it's fast fashion. But you know, it's also thrifted, so it's fine. I think. I don't know. Just a little over, little sweater. I like to keep this in my closet. If you guys saw my packing and my putting away stuff, I put a lot of stuff. I put sweaters and stuff in a different closet, but I keep this one as one of the lighter ones. So I kept that in this closet. But and then I've got this little button up. I don't know, I thought that like things like this, which same with the other one, the next one, I love a good button up moment. I want to wear this to work, but I don't know if I can or not because I'm working as a crepe maker and we wear just all black right now because it's brand new. So I don't really know if they want like t-shirts or if they want like this kind of thing. But I love this and I love layering it and it's a little button up. It's got a hole in the back, but I thrifted it at a little thrift shop by my college. And this thrift shop did like a, it was like a growlic filba bag for like five bucks or something. I got that along with it. And I also got this. This one, a lot of people think is ugly. Quite a bit of people think this is ugly, but I think it's so cute. And it reminds me of Lorelai Gilmore. And I love to just wear like jeans and like a little black tank top or like bralette underneath. Just with like this on top. I think it's so, I think it's so Lorelai Gilmore. It's like just, oh, beautiful. I love it. Okay, here's one that actually... Backstory, me and my best friend Gigi, we were once upon a time planning to thrift a bunch of stuff and then um, sell it. But this was one of them and I, when I tried it on, I thought it was so cute and it's also kind of giving early 2000s jacket and I love to crop it up like this, like crop this bottom section up. I don't know. I think it's super cute and I love it for the fall. Okay, we've got some like long sleeves. I think I want to say thrifted this at a Goodwill. Um, I love this one because I love the neckline a lot, but it's like more of a thick long sleeve situation. These two also kind of give me like early 2000s Gilmore Girls kind of era. That's all I ever want is a Gilmore Girls era, but she's cute. I love her a lot. I wear her quite a bit. Okay, this next one also gives me like kind of a lower like Gilmore kind of look but this is also one that i love to just like layer sometimes i do just wear like black sweatpants with this but it's like a v-neck purple i think i did thrift this is a goodwill too but it's like a little v-neck and it's like longer here it just is nice and long but i really sometimes i like to do i also think this would be nice for like layering for the really cold winters and like when you're going up skiing or something like that's just kind of what i feel when i look at it okay so now we've got some tank tops. I love my tank tops. Um, this one, I can't even remember where I got this, but I've had it for like ever. And I just think it's so unbelievably gorgeous. I love to layer it with a white tank top or white t-shirt, like a white t-shirt like that looks like this underneath it. And I have not worn it in a while, but I love would love to find more ways to style it. Um, 
But anyways, I probably found it in the lingerie section. I found this next one, I think, also in the lingerie section. And I feel like everybody should be checking out the lingerie section, section because it's so cute. Like, this is, like, one of my staples in my closet. Like, I will never be getting rid of this. Um, this one is one that is kind of hit or miss on whether I could find an outfit that works for it. But again, early 2000s is always kind of, like, my, like, when I'm thrifting, that's always what I'm looking for. But I love this little, like, tank kind of, like, same shape as that one. Kind of just really nice filling out the bra. We've got this little, like, ribbon, and it goes around the back to, like, tie. And I really just love this little, like, fairy kind of energy that she's giving I just think she's really cute. I don't know. I haven't worn her too much yet, but I love her. Um, this one, I thrifted. This one, along with a purple dress that I'll show you guys later, I thrifted that there was these girls that did the same thing that I was going to do, where they just thrift and then they sell it elsewhere. So they would, like, thrift a bunch of all the good stuff from all over, like, the valley, and then they would sell it outside of their front, in their front lawn. But I saw her posting about it and I was like, girl, I'm going to go check that out. And I ended up finding this along with like the perfect dress for a wedding that I was going to go to um, last summer. But I found this and it fits decently well. Um, like, we just kind of have like this like little tank connected underneath it. But I really love it. I think it's super cute. It fits cute. It is Ann Taylor Petite. I don't know. Super cute. I love her. She's also one of my staples that I would like never get rid of. Okay, so now I've got this. I'll try this one on for you guys, but I wore it recently. Um, but it's a vest, and I thrifted it at, like, a Goodwill. And I think she's so cute. I don't know why, but I love her. She's got, like, these little, like, gold detailing. These are not real pockets, unfortunately. But I think she's super cute. Like, I put, a che like, an orange and blue checkered long sleeve underneath. And, like, my boyfriend wasn't sure, like, he was vibing with it, but I was vibing with it indeed i thought it was so cute um i don't know i love her i again like it's one of those ones where i'm like the only reason i would ever get rid of it it was if i didn't have enough room for it or i couldn't find stuff with it but i really feel like i've been in my fashion era like yeah i'm working all the time and my life is boring and i can't really wear cute outfits but i love styling cute outfits and i will be doing a summer lookbook soon and i'm hoping to put this one in there and a lot of these like tank tops and stuff but and most of the stuff to be honest but anyway i want to do a summer lookbook and i want to start doing a lot more fashion based stuff on the channel along with in my life so i'm keeping her obviously for that i'm going to take a intermission to put some of this stuff away so i don't have to do it later let's get back into it shall we okay we've got dresses we've got skirts we've got things like that so we've got two dresses this is the one that I thrifted along with the pink one, and I added, I don't know why it looks like that right now. You can't really tell what's happening. Just we're gonna ignore it because I don't really know why it looks like that right now. But it's from the brand A New Day. And I added these little holes right here. And I kind of regret adding these little holes because I tried to like sew it up and hem it handmade, but I'll fix it later. Or do something else with it to make it fit my body better. But I was trying to find a way to cinch it last minute because I didn't have any sewing stuff. And But she is gorgeous and long and she fits my height, which is the thing I'm thankful for. And I feel like I could easily do fix it better to make it fit me better. But I don't know. She will get fixed eventually. But anyways, she's gorgeous. I love her. I love collecting. Like that's the kind of stuff I want to thrift more. But anyway, I wore her to a wedding. Love her. This I thrifted along with the like goodie bag that I was talking about in my college town. It's a Forever 21 dress, but it's just black. This one is also one where I feel like it fits a little weird, so I would love to hem it and make it fit me just a little bit better. I don't know, just a thought. Okay, now we've got some skirts. I've got, I thrifted this I think at a Goodwill as well, but I think this was along with the things that I should have, I was going to sell with my best friend. But anyways, it's just like a little like slip underneath like you know kind of okay it's like a little slip that you put underneath other stuff i guess um but i personally really want to wear it with like a long t-shirt with like just the lace at the bottom pokes out like i would really like to style it like that um but you know i'm a girl in a world i don't have much time to do stuff so i but i like it it's cute 
Um, this one I thrifted at the small one, the small thrift shop in my town. This is a long skirt. I have styled it once. I never actually wore it out, but I did try to style it as a dress because it only ends like on my calves if I style it as a dress. And I put like this. I don't know how to explain it. Like thingy on top of it. I don't know. It was super cute, but also super cute as a little long skirt moment. Um, she's got like a little tie right here. I don't know. I love her. She's definitely a good one. She was like six bucks and this thrift shop specifically tends to like up their prices. This one I thrifted at a Goodwill. This is from Tessudo. I have no idea. I love thrifting when the brands are like not known to me and this one's not known to me. So I feel like she's like, like what if she's really expensive? I don't know. Um, but anyways, it's like this Hawaiian printy pink with the ruffles at the bottom kind of long skirt situation i styled it with a brown tank top oh uh, last summer i never got to wear it out but i did style it so i know how i would wear it and i was feeling very insecure last summer so i feel like this summer is the summer of me wearing long skirts and wearing like long flowy skirts with like small itty bitty tops like that is what i want to wear with this so i'm gonna definitely wear that soon okay i've got some sweaters for you this is iconic it is a ralph lauren sport sweater it is super heavy um but i love her i was so thankful to find her she's so cute that's all i have to say about that one okay this one is a talbot um cardigan um she's super cute too she had a little bit of like staining in the sleeves but i don't think it's that bad I cleaned her. She's got like a little bit of like paint, but I think it's so good. This is like, I probably love this one more than the Ralph Lauren and that's just facts. Like I hear about this brand a lot with thrifters, like out av of avid thrifters. And I was so proud of myself to find this. I thought it was so cute. I'm sad that it's getting too warm for me to wear it. I only got to wear it a couple of times before it got too warm, but okay. This is one that I need you guys not to make fun of me for. It is a jacket, it is a long jacket. And I thrifted this one in Amsterdam. So, oh, I just remembered a shirt that I forgot to totally show you guys. They also thrifted in Amsterdam. This jacket, I thrifted it in Amsterdam. Um, I would love to style it, like I think. It's got pockets too, which is really awesome and iconic. Um, but anyways, I thrifted it in Amsterdam, and it fit, and I was like, it's kind of giving a Lorelei Gilmore in, like, the weirder way. I don't know. I really like it. I think it's super cute. I like her a lot, actually. I like her a lot. I feel like maybe I can make her work. I don't know when, but maybe in the winter I'll do, like, or, like, this fall, I'll do, like, a uh, lookbook. And maybe I'll show you guys how I would style this. But I really like it. I don't really know if you're a hater, you're a hater. It's got like this little slit. It's like a... I don't know how to explain this material. But I love her. I think she's so cute. But anyways, I thrifted one other thing in Amsterdam. And... Because me and my mom went... So if you guys don't know about my Europe trip, go check out my Europe trip vlogs and videos. Because I did do some videos for that trip. I did vlog day i got the first couple i vlogged most of amsterdam and i think i vlogged actually most of the places that we went like we went to amsterdam paris rome london i vlogged most of them i think except for london but anyways well, i thrifted this one and i love her and i styled her with this denim jacket that i'm gonna show you guys next but i styled her check out my main instagram if you scroll down a little bit you'll be able to see like this iconic look I just love her and I don't wear her as much anymore, but I should be because she's, I forget how iconic this is and I don't really know what this means. My mom thrifted a sweater that just said kale, but in Dutch. It was really funny, but I don't know H and this. I don't want to butcher it, but she's iconic. I really love her a lot. Put her right in the front so I remember to wear her because she's so good. Okay, so I have two leather jackets. First, I'll show you the one that I wore. This is the one that I wore with that t-shirt in 
Amsterdam. So this is Maxima um, brand, Wilson Leather Experts. It's a size large, so it fits pretty big. But I kind of liked it. I really liked it. It was 90 bucks, to be honest. It was 90 bucks or something. But my dad was there and he bought it for me, I think, to be honest. But it kind of ends like right in front of my knees. I really like it. It like is just barely too big for my arms. Like if my arms are down, that's like kind of where it lands. It's like barely, barely too big. I think she's so cute. I think she's so cute and I don't wear her enough. Cause she's kind of like more trenchy and i feel like when i lift my arms up it's like a lot better but it's like in the in the in between of a trench coat and not a trench coat but i love this one i think it's absolutely gorgeous love her to death Woo. okay last leather jacket i have this one was from the di and it was 20 bucks because i spelled the tag on it because i barely worn it but I thought this one would be fun. Um, it's a little stiffer. It's like not as big, so it's a little looser. It's got like, this one has buttons, this one has a zipper. So anyways, it's like, they're completely different. This one ends like, also still a little big on the arms, but I have not, have not figured out a way to style this one. But I feel like it's too good to get rid of. So I've been holding on to it, because I have faith that I will be able to style it someday. I don't know. I'm, I've always been in search of a good leather jacket, like, and I feel like these are pretty good, but they're not good enough. So, if you let me know, you find one. Okay, purses. First of all, you guys have seen this purse because last summer-ish, like around this time last year, I did film a what's in my purse, and I did use this purse, and it is a thrifted purse, and it is like an old lady purse, and I love her, and she has three compartments, and if you guys want to know more about this purse and what I put in it, go ahead and check it out. But I think she's gorgeous. And I think I can tell you guys the brand. Fossil 1954 is the purse and the brand. I don't know. I love her. I use her all the time because I feel like it's just nice. I just think it's nice because it's like my probably my biggest purse. That's not like a backpack actually. It's my biggest purse purse, like that, like I put on my shoulder. Because I have other bags. Like I have my bagu that's like probably just as big. But that one I feel like is more crossbody sometimes. But I feel like it just depends. This one I thrifted off of Depop. I don't really know the brand. Might not say. It does not say. Um, Liz Claiborne accessories. I don't know. I love her. I love a little very tiny purse um i was starting to, i wore this around i wore this for my graduation my college graduation and i was strutting it around i was like and like even when i got back and i moved here i was still kind of just strutting it around but i feel like it just doesn't fit everything that i would need like it barely fit my keys but i love to just like i don't know i love her Okay, I've got two things left, and it is shoes. I love these shoes. They're my everything. I have not worn them yet, yet because, again, styling things are hard. These are Colhan waterproof shoes. That's the Colhan Couture. No, Colhan Country. I don't know. They kind of look like Doc Martens, almost, and they're red. And I think they're so beautiful. My sister was mad that they fit me and they didn't fit her, but they're size six and that's what I am. So I love them. I think they're gorgeous. I think I'm excited to style them. If I could style them for the summer, yes, please. I just don't know how. These ones are the ones that I have such a hard time deciding if I'm ever going to wear them. I feel like these are the ones that I feel like I would wear more for a photo shoot, like a funky photo shoot rather than for function. <laughs> Or ever out ever, anywhere, everywhere, anywhere. Unless I was like on the red carpet if I was super famous. But anyway, these are wooden. They're wood and denim. And they've got, they're no boundary. And if you guys saw, if you guys have been following me long enough, I did a back to school haul. I did show one of the skirts in the back to school haul and I showed these. I did them, I literally thrifted them right before my first day of college, like a little bit before, my, before college started for me. 
but they're just gorgeous they're absolutely stunning they fit my feet perfectly and i wore the, i literally walked into here wearing them because i didn't have enough room to hold them but it's just like they look wooden i don't think they're actually wooden just fyi they look wooden i don't think they're actually wooden because they're like soft but they're just gorgeous they're just gorgeous i just feel like i want to do like some funky photo shoot in them so badly and i probably will at some point but anyways i love them they're iconic i don't think i have anything else to show you guys i'm out of breath for some reason i don't know why that took so much out of me <sighs> and perfect timing 21 minutes it's not gonna be too long short and snappy but still a lot of things i showed you guys so i guess that's all i have for you guys today please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and check out my main instagram account and I've got a lot of fun things going on if you're interested in my dance life. I'm doing a lot of fun things right now. So if you're interested, please go follow all that information. And definitely let me know if you guys have any video suggestions. I do want to do a lot of lookbooks. Um, like a summer lookbook, spring. I want to start doing them every season. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions of things that we can do. I've got a really cute little setup for um, makeup. So I could do a lot of different fashion, makeup, hair a lot of fun things based for you guys that's really kind of what i want to get into is a lot more lifestyle cooking a lot, of, just a lot of lifestyle stuff for you guys that's really what i want to do um and i will be doing a house tour soon hopefully so i will i will talk to you guys later that's all bye <laughs>